Welcome to another class of Pilates at TZ. So today we're going to work into strengthening into the forearms and the wrists. I've had a lot of issues with my ladies with wrists, so that was the focus of today and ankle mobility. So taking the feet or drop wider, then hip width apart. Inhale, taking the arms all the way up, shoulders relaxed. Keep the core tight, no half extending. And then you're just going to make circles, half circles, let's say. Rolling the shoulder blade forward, shoulder blade, the shoulders forward and back. Down, up, straight arms. And again, going down, one. And taking it all the way up. Palms face out. You want to imagine you're pushing through the water as you push down, slowly reaching the arms all the way, keeping that lengthening. Palms out. Inhale, shoulders relax. And push. Imagine you're pushing all good energy together and you're pushing all bad energies away. One more. Inhale. And reach it up. Taking the hands out to the side. And I want you to open and close those fingers. So open wide and squeeze tight. Open wide, squeeze tight. So you should get a stretch into that whole forearm. Three, four. Soft knees, pull the core in, shoulders relax. Seven, eight. Release it down. The weight that I'm using is a 12 kilo kettlebell. You can use a lighter weight. And you can use maybe two kilos lighter than what you normally do. The feet are drop wider than hip width. Pull the core in, shoulders relaxed. Open the elbow of that top arm. We're, we're aiming to get the, tie, the fatigue into the forearm extensors by holding it. So just squeeze down as well as working obliques. Two, squeeze down. Three, four. Keep opening this arm and make sure you've got a straight line all the way from your toes or your heels all the way to the head leaning over. Eight, eight, seven, six, five. Keep the core tight. Three, two, one, one more set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it here as far over as you can and just hold open that elbow, three, five, six, keep the core tight, soft knees, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Now squeeze back and over. One, all the way up. Two, three. So I kind of feel my triceps as I come up of the hand holding the weight. Plus the forearms should be getting a little tired. Six, seven. If you lock your knees, make sure they're soft. Keeping the core tight to protect the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Just stretch that arm that was in the air, stretch it up. Take the other hand and then open and close. Big fingers, wide fingers, make a tight fist. Two more, one more, changing sides, the weight is in the other hand, pull the core in, shoulders relaxed, arm is open, soft knees, one, two, sorry, we're going down more to the weighted side, three, four, five, exhale, six, Seven, 
eight, eight, seven, six, Eight, keep the core tight and hold it here. Two, three, four. You can just hold it or bounce. Just keep in the core tight. I feel that big pull into the obliques and the shoulder of that arm that's bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze up and back. All the way up to lift the weight. Try not keep it on the side, try to keep it sort of hanging for, so you actually have to lift it up. Five, six, inhale, exhale, I think this is the harder part. Eight, seven, six, shoulders are relaxed, keep the core tight, or as relaxed as you can to... One more set. One. One. Two. Three. Keep it nice and tight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And releasing the weight. Stretching. So actually stretching the arm that was bent and then taking the other hand out, just making a big fist, close tight and open. One more and just shake it out. Come into the mat now. So taking a lighter weight, I'm using three kilos. You can have your hand or your elbow on a bench or something otherwise if you're having it on your knee make sure that the rest of the elbow is kind of hovering off shoulders relax and make sure it's shoulders are square and we're gonna hold this here shoulders relax pull the core in sit up nice and tall you can bend that bottom leg one three four five six Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a break and let's go again. Straight hand if you can, loose your grip. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Loosen the grip. I mean, release it. And last one. Sit up nice and tall, straight line from the elbow to the wrist, to the fingers. Four, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change sides. Other leg, other side. Rest in a straight line from your elbow to your finger. Sit up nice and tall, engaging your core. One, two, three. Shoulders relax, pull the coin. Six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Release. So we want to get to a point of fatigue so that you're recruiting the correct muscles. Shoulders relax. Pull the core in. Make sure you don't pull that shoulder up and wear the shoulders earrings. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Last one. <coughs> four, five, six. <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> release and bring it down bring on to all fours in a box shape shoulders slightly over the wrist you're going to come on to fingertips I don't want your hands here you need to be here round into that lower back engaging into the core fingertips, fingertips down, down, one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fingertips, hold, lean forward, engage into the core, and really feel the forearm extensors working. And this is stretching into your fingers to get to the wrists. And last set, start the other side if you can remember to rounding into the back. Keep the weight over the hands. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that was easy round. Now, coming into a modified push-up. So you're on your knees, shoulders over the wrist, pull the core in, tuck your tailbone, fingers, fingers down, one. Two, three, keep that core engaged. Six, seven, eight. Come onto your fingertips, hold it up here, lean forward slightly. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it. The last one, you can do the second option. If that was too hard, do the first option. And then coming into your push-up, tuck your tailbone. And one. Down. Two. Down. Sorry. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now hold it here. Tuck your tailbone. Rounding into the back. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release down. Push back onto fingertips. And then onto palms. Fingers. Palms. Coming up. And just circles. A little bit to stretch the fingers if you need it. Open wide. Make your fist. Open wide, fist, one more, and shake it out. Coming now onto your wrist. So the shoulders are slightly over the wrist. You're going to pull the bundles, uh, pull your core in, straightening that first leg behind you. So square the hips, and what I want is pointing, and then I want you to tuck the toes right in. So we're working on the mobility of the ankle. You want to get onto, if you can, the ball of the foot without actually moving the body in and out. So shoulders over the wrist, keep the core tight. Pull in your abs, point onto ball of the foot. One, two, get in as much mobility as you can. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, flex, two, one, <clears throat> one, two, keep the core tight, four, Five, head in line with the shoulders, six, toes, seven, or ball of the foot, eight, and change legs.
and stretch it up, square the hip, pull the core in, point, one, two, three, four, five, six, flex, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, round that foot as much as you can, stretch that calf as you pull in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and push back, just shake, we've done a lot of warming up into the wrists, and a lot of my ladies were feeling their wrists. None of my main complaints. So taking your hands to your heart center, roll in and out if that feels good for you. Shake it up. First leg, shoulders over wrists. Pull the core in, taking the leg up, square the hips. Feel like a piece of toffee from the crown of the head to the toes and you're going to point flex one reaching all the way from the back to the toes four five six keeping the core tight if you tend to arch that back pull the core in maybe drop the leg a little five six because you want to tuck that tailbone seven eight one two three Four, five, six, seven. This is where it gets awkward. Hold it here. And I want circles with the ankles. Two, three, four, five, six. Reaching that leg. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, <coughs> four, Six, seven, eight. Taking the hands a bit wider, take that leg out to the side, point and flex. Try and lean more into the side of the leg, lifted leg, and try not to bend that elbow up the other side. Seven, eight, eight, seven. Feel the obliques and into the ankles, the calves. Seven, eight, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Circles. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, my circles are awkward. Eight, eight, seven. That's why we're doing this. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Keep it here, bring the hands in, squeeze the inner thighs together at the top, and I just want you to point and flex the foot. Three, keeping the core tight, shoulders relaxed, and your shoulders slightly over the wrist. Keep it nice and tight, keep those abs engaged. Three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two three four five so you should feel the butt of the floor on the thigh and uh, on the mat the knee on the mat and that inner thigh and circles two four six seven eight we're gonna stretch after the second side four five six seven eight squeeze those inner thighs four five six seven eight come back shake your hands changing legs so you got that straight line pull the core in lift in the leg flex and point one two three four five six seven eight 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it here, circles with the wrist, uh, ankles. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five. I seem to get better circles at this leg. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands go a bit wider. Take that leg up. Try not to lean too much into the back leg. You want to lean into the lifted and point and flex. Three, four, five. Shoulders relax. Core in. Should feel obliques. Ankle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the core tight. Eight. Squeeze that leg behind you. Bring the hands a bit closer. Flex and point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulders are slightly over the wrist. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Squeeze those inner thighs. Feel the butt of the leg on the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and circles. Two, four, five, six, eight, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Push back and just shake it up. Maybe you need to just open and close. So you might hopefully be feeling your wrists a bit more now and then nothing after the class. If your wrists are sore, then you know it was too much for your wrists. But we are trying to work into strengthening. If you do feel your wrists, then come onto your elbows for the next set. Otherwise, shoulders over the wrist, that first leg behind you, bend the knee, pull the core in, and point and flex. Two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight. Keep the core tight, so don't arch the back. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flex it up and down as high as you can, keeping the core tight. Four, five, six. If you know you do have diastasis rectus, you want to tuck that tailbone round into the back a little and pull those uh, um, transverse abdominals towards each other, the lower muscles. Four, five. In fact, you want to pull all. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands a bit wider. Leg out to the side, bend knee, point and flex. Two, three, four. Keep the core tight. Feel the oblique working. Seven, especially if you lean more into that lifted leg side. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, up and down, two, with a flex foot, five, six, 
seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze that leg behind you and point and flex. Two. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. <coughs> Second side, shoulders over the wrist, bend the knee, flex the foot, pull the core in, and point flex. One. Two. Remember, if you've got diastasis rectus, especially in the lower part, you want to tuck the tailbone and squeeze those abs towards each other, especially the lower abs. Otherwise, if you arch your back also, you want to just gently round into that. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles. I mean, up and down. Keep it tight. Four, five. So it's a small movement, a little higher. Six, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Taking the hands wider, leg out to the side point and flex. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. <coughs> Six, seven, eight. Up and down, two, three, four. Remember the hands are a bit wider. Keep the core tight. Lean into the side of the lifted leg. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, one, four, five, six, seven. Take it behind you. Squeeze, flex, and point. Two, three, four. Bring your hands closer. Six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release it down. Come sit on your back. So we've done all the stuff on our hands that we need to. Now we're going to work a little bit more into core. Different position here. So using the short end of your mat, you want a flex into that foot. And you want a 90 degree from the ankle to the knee, from the knee to the hip. The back leg, you want the same 90 degree from hip to knee and then take that foot out, knee to ankle. Your hands are on either side of that front leg. So you're framing that front leg. I'm going to do it now. <coughs> Here. Sitting up nice and tall, keeping the abs engaged. If you need to, or if you feel you can, you can lift your hands off and have them here. Otherwise, starting off your light on those fingers, engaging into the abs, and lift. One, two, keep the flex into the foot. Four, keep the core tight. Six, seven, you should feel a sort of koala hugging you on the, maybe the hip, and a little bit into oblique, a little higher. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, Lifting that foot as high as you can without leaning back too far. Two, one, 
hold it here engaging in the core maybe rounding into that upper back lightly one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight release it down sitting up nice and tall shoulders relaxed hip to knee straight line and lift one two you can have your hands here four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one one two three four five six seven hold it here five six seven eight one two five six seven eight one two three five six seven eight release changing sides so the same you want that 90 90 lifting up so i'm going to be at a bit of an angle here there we go framing that foot engage in the core lift one two three four five six seven eight eight six five four three keep that flex into the foot one one three four five six seven eight hold it up frame keep it here five six seven eight one two keep the abs pulled in seven eight protecting the back always and release it down Leaning forward slightly, lift in the back leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a lot of core. You will feel it into the outer hip and also the obliques. But you really got to squeeze those abs. Four, five, six, eight. Hold it up here. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release. So just stretching. Maybe one foot is closer, the other foot is in line, heel to heel. And then fold forward. <coughs> Come up, change in front. You can hold it for longer. I just want to move on. And coming. First leg. So you want that foot in front of the knee. Again, your hands are here or you can have them here. The first one we want to do is sitting up nice and tall, engaging those abs, and you're going to point and bend that leg. So wherever your hands are, let's go. One, two, straighten as much as you can into that leg. Four, five. Keep the core tight, six, seven, you either got light fingers on the mat, lean forward, don't lean back, eight, seven, so you'll feel maybe hip flexors, the hip, four, five, six, seven, eight, taking that foot out to the side, hands on the mat, or lifted foot flex into the bottom, or to the floor, three, Sit up nice and tall, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change in legs and then we will stretch. Sit up nice and tall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Taking the foot out to the side, sitting up nice and tall, and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six. Nearly there. Four, three, two, one. One more set. Two, four, five, six, seven and release it down so we don't really need to stretch because we're just working into abs now so lying on your back imprinting the spine if you need to you can have your head on a pillow straight arms bringing both feet up hip width apart you want to make sure easier to bring the knees in harder to take them out we're going to take right leg left arm imprint in the spine push that spine into the mat keep this imprint if you have diastasis rectus then you want to really imprint the spine and squeeze those lower abs towards each other in fact all the abs but it's easier i find on the lower abs taking the feet up imprint and right leg left arm one only go as far as you can to keep that imprint if it's there that's fine four and if you need to you bring it in easier five just make sure you feel those abs seven eight so i'm pushing that knee out eight to make it a bit harder really good at work to push it back into the mat four five six exhales on the harder part imprinting that spine three four <clears throat> five six seven eight hold it out here imprint four five six seven eight two three four as you get tired you really need to work harder and release down arms above the head stretch it up it really feels delicious when you're ready to change in sides taking it to the other side so arms up imprinting the spine either your head is resting on a pillow or a block and you're pushing your head into it or it's flat on the mat, imprint, legs up, now it's left leg, right arm, pull that core in, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, seven, eight, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, keep that imprint, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight hold it here one two five six imprint the spine pull the abs in but if you need to bring it in otherwise take it out one two five six seven eight release it down arms above the hip reach it up one foot on top of the other and change legs and release now we're going to come on to one side. But I need this for my hip. If you need to, you can use padding. We're going to do side push-ups. So that one hand, the bottom hand, is going to wrap around the hip, or you can wrap around your serratus, your, your sides, wherever's comfortable. The other hand is kind of in front of that shoulder. You're going to straighten the legs 
all the way from the fingertips to the toes. No, from the crown of the head to the toes, a straight line. And you're going to squeeze up and down. So this works the triceps. You want to make sure that's where we're working. Inhale, squeeze. One, two. Inhale, exhale. Three, four. So you do feel your obliques a little. But I think it's mainly triceps. Six, seven. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up here, bend that elbow. Hold one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release and change sides. Coming on to your second side. I don't know why I actually moved lock. So you're either holding onto the waist, onto the side. The other hand is under the shoulders, straight line from the crown of the head to the toe. And lift up. One, two, three, four. Five. Keep that hand quite close to you, the one that's on top. Seven. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, hold it up here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five. Bent elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release and push back into child's pose, onto fingertips, and pull the shoulder blades down the spine. Walk in your hands to one side. Pull that opposite side back to stretch the obliques. Maybe it also helps to stretch the tricep. Other side, bring it back. A new delicious stretch from Dylan, if you want. Hip and knee in a straight line. Walk in the chest forward. So in your puppy pose, you don't want your bum back, it's a straight line. Then you're going to round into the upper back. You're going to bend, the one hand comes in front of the face, and then you pull down on the other side. Change sides, other hand reaches, round into the top of the back, the hand in front of the face, and you should feel the stretch all the way up into that shoulder as you lean down. And release, hands under the shoulders, tuck toes, Push back to down dog. Taking the one foot flat, the other heel sinks to the mat and really pull down. One, two, three, four. Changing legs. Sink the other heel down. One, two, three, four. Release and sink to the knees. Push back once more. Rounding into the back. Rolling up, take one arm over. If you're uncomfortable, come sit in a comfortable, easy seat. Otherwise, on your haunches. Very good for high blood pressure and pregnancy. Palms down, reach it over, release. And we're done. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates at TZ. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next lesson.